meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. All right, your forecast this evening showing rising temperatures, kind of the opposite of what you would expect. We should be up into the low 50s by 11 o'clock, but some gusty winds moving through this evening, along with some brief heavier rain showers. Still a chance of scattered showers tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, 55 degrees. Upper 50s at noon, cloudy skies returning cooler later in the day. A cold front will be swinging by. We'll have falling afternoon temperatures and dropping back to 46 at 5 p.m. Showers tonight, gusty winds around the area. Some morning showers Friday. And in our weather headlines. We do have that wind advisory in effect until 2 a.m. with gusts 40 to 45, maybe even as high as 50 miles per hour possible in the area shaded there. But even down south, Xenia, Middletown, Wilmington, you could still see wind gusts up around 42. So uh, don't be surprised to see some strong winds in those counties, even if they're not under the advisory. Chilly weather on the way for the weekend, and rain is going to be likely for the area on New Year's Eve. Speaking of which, 13 hundredths of an inch today. We're moving in a top 10 here on our rain. Fall for the year at 47.31, and we're at a surplus there of six and two thirds inches. Forecast high temperatures uh, tomorrow. We should be in the upper 50s here, well above normal by 20 degrees, and then a little more. Uh, blue on the map to the west of us, though, that's the colder air. That'll be spreading back into the area on Saturday as high temperatures drop back into the 30s for us. We have rain falling up in Greenville. Looks like some gustier winds there, too, the way those raindrops are shaking around a little bit. You can see that heavy rain. Coming into Dark County, up around Greenville tonight, extending south to Richmond, down to Eaton and Oxford. And this is all marching toward Montgomery County, a deep low pressure center to the west of us tonight. Blizzard conditions over the northern Plain states. This warm front pushing northward and a line of showers with those gusty winds. And that front will push through and open the door for the warmer air. Blizzard warnings in effect from Minnesota, the Dakotas, all the way down to central Nebraska and even central New Mexico. Blizzard warning in effect for another storm coming through that part of the country in the southwestern U.S. We're at 47. Southeast wind now 23 and the barometer falling rapidly. We have seen some wind gusts 36 Indianapolis last hour. Pockets of red 40 to 50 miles per hour on the wind gusts and we'll have that potential this evening. Our weather checkers low to mid 40s tonight. Barbara Richards and Kettering at 45 degrees. One of the warmer numbers but those numbers continue to climb. Heavier rain, gusty winds passing through tonight and then some scattered showers. The winds back off a little bit. We may even see some breaks in the clouds tomorrow afternoon as we get back to a drier weather pattern. Uh, but over the weekend, the clouds settle back in and also chilly temperatures return. Your forecast tonight, let's check it out. We're expecting to see uh, temperatures rising into the 50s with cloudy skies, occasional showers, breezy. South southeast winds 10 to 20, gusting up to 40, maybe even briefly 45 to 50 this evening. And then an upper 50s tomorrow around midday with morning showers, breezy and mild. Southwest wind 10 to 20, gust to 30 miles per hour. But turning colder in the afternoon, we'll drop back to the mid 40s by the time we get to 6 p.m. Could be some breaks in the clouds late day. Saturday and Sunday, mostly cloudy, low temperatures close to 30, upper 20s, upper 30s to about 40 for the high temperatures with rain likely on New Year's Eve and not bad temperature wise around 50, but then for the start of the new year, here comes colder air, 37 on New Year's Day, slight chance of a snow flurry and then typical cold January weather for Wednesday and Thursday, low 30s for highs. And low 20s for the nighttime lows. But not tomorrow. No. Not tomorrow. It's going to feel like spring in the Kind air. of being spoiled by the temperatures at the least. We are all are right now. All right. Thank